Hi, and welcome to a bit of a test. I'm having the music on, as you know. Uh, yeah, I'm going with that because this is an icebreaker. This will not go well, I'm guessing last place. Because I am not used to the handling on ice in this game yet. But in case there's a bunch of fucking ads, very, very sorry. I will just uh, remove it later on for... Um, Worst case scenario. You will see it on one theme episode, and that will be this one. Because I guess if it's you know copyright protected, so that it will get claimed, you should see it already on upload basically. This is a lot easier than the other one. There's a lot more snow and water on it as well. But water ice right, is a lot slip, more slippery, so I uh, really thought I did too. I did change one thing, I did put on a little bit of the low stability uh, control button. Whoa, 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 I break it. Oh, whoa, whoa. And I did manage to win, but that was also lowering the difficulty, so... I mean, of course, it helps a bit with getting used to the handling, but... Not so much that you should be able to win when you completely lost the master. Or maybe I didn't completely lose. I was certainly not the winner, I know that. I'm not sure which position I actually got. Come on, out with that ass! Out with that ass! Jesus Christ, that's the ability control for you. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, I am not happy with that, I have to say. I don't feel like I'm in control. Going brutally sideways without control is apparently more control in my brain. Oh, that bloody thing again! But still, it's something so artificial about the handling when it when you can't you know when you can't get the bloody arms out at all. Just want on drift. Uh, all right, there. Let's go for that one. The last time, so why not? Some more of your calls as well. While passing through. Pretend we are in Germany in the 90s. <laughs> no. <laughs> um. <laughs> well, it was an awful joke to be told, so I had to do it. It's Swedish law, really. It's that or death, I don't think. I don't know. And as you may have noticed, I'm over in the squad of the sit for uh because thinking, well, let's force power can be a good thing in this. Not under these conditions, oh what the f oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, don't ever learn that corner, you absolute moron. Um, come on. Shot, that shot. Oh, what? Destroy this place. Yes, I think the track, this track's a lot easier to handle, or. Bloody. Thing where the score and uh, stability control really helps. Partially really helps. But some also feeling a bit lost in that I can't get it to drift as I want it to. So. Uh, so not so which actually. Uh, oh, I got all of the three things down there. Nice. Happy with that. Oh, 
Oh, we'll see. Him. So, oh, wasn't that really? How did that happen? Welcome back to the Dirt Podcast by Donut Media. It's me, James Pumphrey, and as always, I'm joined by my handsome co-host, Nolan Sykes. Thank you, I'm flattered. It is race oh, weekend, stop. people. Toot toot! We got Jamie Chadwick on the line, coming well, all the I'm way from the bottom. Bloody hell, I'm starting to regret that I put the everybody. sound on. No need for an intro. Jamie, yeah. what is going on in the oh, land of dice right. and desert lizards? So that and hey, that's hey, James, how are you? More. Yeah, I'm in the mud. It's super cool. Uh, obviously a little bit noisy, but it's a big race coming up this weekend, and honestly, I can't wait. Yeah, it sounds super noisy out there. Are you racing? No, no, sadly not. It's a rare weekend off for me, but yeah, I'm here to talk to AJ, actually. I'm going to be out practicing soon, so I might go try and sneak a little look if I can. Oh, AJ, close personal friend oh, of the show, of and myself, he came to my wedding. Don't mean to brag. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> you're a big fan as well? Yeah, oh, massive fan. Uh, guilty as charged there, I think. He's so exciting to watch. He's... Yeah, really one of the crowd's favourites. I also love how he's bringing up younger racers as well. It's so cool to see, and yeah, obviously a big fan. So, Jamie, you're known for your open-wheel racing career. Uh, what is it about the dirt that uh, attracts you to the sport? I think what I love is the unpredictable nature. You know, you're always racing on different surfaces. Everything's changing. There's such cool features. There's jump. For us, I don't want to say it's boring, but... It's very, very sort of monotonous. It's always the same, whereas I love the fact it's always changing for you guys in dirt. And yeah, it's so cool to see it makes the racing that bit more exciting. Speaking of unpredictable, AJ is known for a... Hmm. He's apparently known for a... Good for him. Or too, too bad, mate. All oh, right, so we're clearly somewhere in Japan, I guess. Oh, at least it's not on the place where they speak the language of that sort. So we're in Japan or that area. Well, probably not tell the difference between Chinese, Japanese, um, Taiwanese. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Jesus Christ, and so on and so forth. Vietnamese. Quite honest. Kawaii! I know what that is. That's, that's basically what. <laughs> it's probably not pronounced that way anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Yeah, that bloody traction control is not. Hmm. Generally speaking, not something I do like carrying on. I can understand people wanting it. Yeah, but I'm having a weird part is it's also kind of good, but like I said, it's very, 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 very strange. Very uh, artificial. And get to drift properly, it's just sort of allowing you to do it. It's not more phrasing as it is. Oh my god, I don't know what bloody radical on these kind of surfaces. There's way too much grip. Come on, sideways! Hmm. Even sure if you can change that in the middle of a race. I am going to have to. I might put it on on ice. At least for now, until I get more used to the cars and handling and all of that. Well, look at that, that's what brings. I was there like mad. We do what happened in the car like this. Well, if you're these on, 50 50 from 3 or something along the lines of 33 takes to 6, or maybe even 25 75. Mm, brilliant, idiot. It can also be a uh, kind of part of that I'm not used to the new handling model that it introduces, but like I said, it feels very understeering. And that is with e brake. Miss. Clearly, it works to win, but I. Yeah. 
saying <laughs> I'm complaining that I'm winning, but I want to have fun as well. <laughs> it's, it's not all about winning, it's all about having fun as well. We are, we are at 10 ish. Yeah, I'm gonna go uh, change some settings. I apparently had uh, whatever that's called on um, traction control as well, so I did remove that instead of the other one. And I redid that race and it felt a little bit better at least. I do also believe it has a bit to do with, you know, getting properly bloody used to the game and the physics. Or nothing. What? It's nothing compared to this. What the bloody hell words, man. But yeah, I'm trying this then. Crossway, go right, right, right. Whoa. Oh, go wing. Oh, you got to drop the weather here. I think that is the best one that I didn't take. Get one, get some of those I didn't take that. I don't know how fast you come through it apparently. Maybe it's in the bloody forest. I saw somebody do that. Come on! They are amazing at getting exactly in front of you every time. This happened. Yes. Let this happen. Let this happen. You out of the way. Go. And yeah, I am usually not, you know, the pussy kind as you may have noticed <laughs> normally, but yeah, in some games I do tend to become a bit more like that. Like this game, apparently. I'm having a bit of fun with it in grid as well, so there I was doing a little bit more bully than I usually am in racing games. I guess it's even AI, yeah, I'm preferring not to, to, to uh, hit them. If you learn, uh, if you start doing that against AI, yeah, you are more likely to do it against people as well in not to play. And that is something I would never do. I mean, I might hit somebody, but then it's, you know, purely accidental. I'd never aim for somebody. Well, unless it's Johnson, but that's a different thing to send it to me. So. He probably would aim a lot more for me than I would aim at him. Anyway, so he is, he's still the one that's a bastard, or not. <laughs> and that's a fact. Because I said so when I never like And I know everything. And so on. Oh, hell, there's a bit of an oddity that speed difference between me, the other one right next to me, and the rest. I would have said. That seems very um, Forza Horizon esque. Or Ford's out the entire series, actually. Something to do with their, their ending, especially the ones you. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. As soon as they release a beam patch, that usually happens. The AI becomes all oh, screwed up. Over and over again. There's uh, there is. Oh, that was a really decent corner. Uh, that that much, yeah. Is this just a uh, you know, sprint type of thing? Uh, one, one way race or what? And the bloody corners on the minimap is also a bit hard to judge. Sometimes they are not even nearly as sharp as you may think they are. Oh! I think I'm right in front of me, didn't you? You're fast. And that's the finishing line, I guess. Yeah, of course it is. Uh, yeah, that is again uh, one of those oddities when it comes to AI. Where's the next one? Well, three and a half seconds behind us. So we're two of us just side by side. What? Well, it may be the cars as well, because he was in the... And we were in the Mini. And that was not the fastest one. There were one, uh, was one rather that had... 
more top speed, and that wasn't a mini. As far as I can remember, I think the last slight detour, you know, something a little extracurricular. But I know the answer is yes, of course what? it is. No, it isn't. What I like about you, you got hunger. So I got no? this concept for you. It's called a throwdown. Sounds cool? No. That's because it is cool. A throwdown no. is like a challenge. A no. one off challenge. Oh, no, no, no. See, no. us superstars like to keep each other on our toes, so <laughs> you like to throw down a little <laughs> skill check. And guess what? <laughs> You've been tapped for one. <laughs> That's funny how this keeps happening. I say something and it happens. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm a wizard. Yeah, I don't fucking see. Up here, uh, BA. Um, you can pause a bit. Yeah, all the other ones were rear wheel drive, so, uh, no is what I'm thinking. I mean, that must be just, yeah, yeah, of course. So, yeah, I'm still claiming that this is the best car. At least, unless you're good at driving, because then the SC might be the better one. Because, I don't know, speed. But then you have to be a lot better at the race. Maybe you can actually use that and turn on some of the driving aids. Make it quite stable and so on. I don't know how that works. Prefer to learn the bloody racing or the, the, the mechanics. The handling, all of that now and then turn on all of that crap over. I do not like having that sort of stuff on. I mean, the uh, ABS uh, depends on how well the game handles it. I do prefer not having that as well. That's something like uh, from Forza, especially from Forza 6. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa, that was almost sideways, that's for sure. Not almost the root wise. But yeah, Forza 6. I think it started already in Forza 5 partially, but I didn't have any major issues here yeah, with turning the brakes off. Or the... <laughs> turning the brakes off? No, not that. Turning off the ABS. In Forza 6, I did only try the bloody demo, so maybe they fixed it later on, but it also continued over to Forza Horizon 3 and 4. I did some form of upgrade to the engine there after Forza Horizon 2 that made... Made it so you more or less have to have ABS on if you're racing with a control. You get locking up way too early on the brakes. You didn't have full the full way. They locked up at less than 50%. I would say moving the bleeding trigger, meaning it became quite useless. Uh, yes, I did of course change the settings so to make sure it was, you know, 0 to 100. 
it, so we don't really leave any, you know, marks in the snow. A bit more, you know, in front here and so on, but we could have removed a bit of snow, one would think. Uh, do that. Oh, yeah. Miljöpartiet har man inte ägat över det alltså. Ja, det var så. Åh, för det var en bit på en bit. When you just throw past like Miljöpartiet. Jag är lukad om det. Green thing. Ja, det är. The yellow green flower thingy thing. Och så var det faktiskt. Like Swedish green party. Party symbol. You know, like you have a... Uh, oh yeah, an elephant and a jackass, or whatever it is. Um, donkey is a bloody word I was looking at. Well, maybe I was right for the first time. I don't even know which it is, to be honest. And I still find it a bit odd that somebody would pick a donkey. But, please, they're on. Well, the elephant is not that good either. Kind of make it look like you're there to stay. Nothing moved me out of the seat that I took. Kind of. Okay. I guess I'm gonna have to try multiplayer as well sometimes in the future. I will do that. Because I don't know how multiplayer works in it. If you can crash into each other or if it's like the other one where you just have, you know, time and things. Oh, it's last week now. I was sure I was at the time. So yeah, I don't know if there's you know, multiplayer the way it is in... Oh yeah, it does change me, I don't know. Unless that has been there all the time, I didn't want to miss it. It looks like maybe it changes a bit then. And the other ones are just driving in the like same bloody place all the time, so they change the track and you don't want to play it. Oh, that was a bit of a nice addition when you saw the... Yeah, look at that, uh, the water's gone up a bit on the snow, melting it sort of. I mean, it looked really nice to somebody that knows what that looks like in real life for some form. You know, Sweden, and we already had snow on the ground. Gone now. It's safer of week-ish. Like in October already, so... I don't know how that thing looks. Ice. Water on ice. Water from ice onto snow. That's <laughs> like... Oh, yeah, true that. Ah, that was just nowhere near good. Look at this, now I'm just outrunning number two slow dude thing by a million miles. Yeah, like I said previously, the AI, uh, yeah, Codemasters aren't that good with that, to be quite honest. So he was what? Nine seconds behind. The last time awesome I, uh, skill, last one I did, friend. I you lost. Are dominating right now. In fact, I think you spend so much time in first place, you're starting to lap yourself. <laughs> if I could, I would. <laughs> Fuck, that was horrendous. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, you know, call that an episode. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you and have fun.